guys, you know I built that car dealership in Retail Tycoon 2 not too long ago? Wow! Your boy is about to build the biggest one ever, and it's gonna make me millions. <laughs> Welcome back to Retail Tycoon 2, where last time we played this, guys, we built our very own car dealership. Now, right now, the dealership is a little bit empty, but with 2.1 million in the bank, we're going to create the biggest dealership the world has ever seen. Unlimited cars means unlimited money, boys. Oh my goodness, Mason Yak. You're making so much cash, money moolah. Yes, guys, it is right. So if you enjoyed this, guys, and want to see more retail talking to then please make sure you smash the like button down below if you're on the here. Make sure you do subscribe. So you're notified when the next episode does come out. But what we're gonna do straight away is jump into build mode. Now, we're in build mode. Actually, you know what? No. Let me get out of build mode. I need to go to manage mode first right now and cancel that. Because we need to close our store so everybody goes home. Everybody's going home. We're going to fire all the workers because we're about to go for a huge revamping stage right now. Get rid of the financial reps. They're going to get out of here right now, boys. Everybody is disappearing. Everybody is now low-key going home. Now, is there an easy way for me to delete everything? Um... Is there? Please tell me there is. No! Get it out of here! I don't want to know! So we are now going to delete everything, boys. Everything is now going to be gone. Delete all that. Delete all this. Delete all the walls. Hasta la vista, baby! It was nice to know you! Get it gone! I don't want nothing to do with it anymore. It is gone. So it's pretty dark right now still. I think they still got the Halloween update on the go. But if I cancel that... And now slowly go through and buy every single piece of land. I told you, when I said that this is going to be the biggest car dealership the world has ever seen, you think your boy was lying right now? You think your boy tells lies? You think your boy's telling you porcupines right now? He is being 100% truthful, boys. I don't tell lies, guys. I don't do ifs, buts, or babies. Your boy does absolutes. And I'm absolutely crazy right now with rock bottom low prices. You want a used car? Your boy's going to sell you one. So there's so much land to legit buy right now. <laughs> I don't know what's going on anymore, guys. I think I've slowly lost my mind. We have got to buy all of this. And when I say I'm turning the whole of this into a store, I freaking mean it. I mean it right now. So last few bits of land to buy. We've got to get rid of all the trees... Which I don't know whether I can just kind of delete the trees in one big go. Oh, the daytime is coming. Can I? It's a bit difficult to try and delete it all in one go. There we go. Are you on my land? No. You are not on my land. Boom. Gone. Gone. Any more trees? How many more trees are there? Right, that is it. Is that all the trees gone? I have zero trees on my land. The sun is arising! On your boy's brand new kingdom. Get ready for the greatest car dealership the world has ever seen, boys. I'm telling you right now, it's going to be glorious. It's going to be so glorious, in fact. So, first things first, then, build. We're going to go into build, and we're going to get those walls. So, if I start at the very back right now, the very back of this place, and we just go all the way across here with walls... That's how you know your boy means business. And if I come down here right now and spend 4,000 big ones in windows. And then how do I get the big boy windows? Picture window. I want the I want the, the big windows. Are these big windows? They don't seem like big windows to me. I want even bigger windows right now. One tile, two tiles, three tiles, four. Four tiles. Keep going across. And we do need some car parking spaces as well. So I think I'll go to about there. And we'll bring this across by six. Okay. So do the same again. We spend 4,000 going down here. Damn, we're spinning all over the place. 4,000 big ones. There we go. And then the rest in windows. Which I'm not sure how much I kind of spent in windows. About there, right? And then across here... I've done four, three, so if I go one, two, three, which here will be two. 
So 246, 246. Nice. And then we get a big boy door like that. And then we get a two window. Right? So a two tile window. And then we have the beginning of your boy's mega store for his very own car dealership. This is huge! This is bigger than my wildest dreams! So, we're going to spend the money on a beautiful marbled floor. Now, you might be thinking, Seniac, you're about to spend a million bucks on a marbled floor. And guess what, guys? Don't even care, mate. I have got unlimited cash. I'm going to be snapping necks and cashing checks all day, every day. We need the car parking situation up and going. So it's kind of difficult to see where they are. Okay, they're there. So if I bring this all the way across to here. And then two gap and then bring this all the way across to there. So many parking spots right now. A tree. I knew we had another tree in here. Get out of here, tree. So many parking spots right now we've got for all the customers to now legit come in. So if I do the rest of the tiles for the uh, car parking space. There we go. Bring this up to about there. Then on the outside, we got the concrete paving so they can get out of the automobile. And then walk into your boy's car dealership. Damn, boys! I spent so much cash money moving on right now. And we're going to spend even more. I might even buy some more cash just so I can spend some more cash. That's how crazy your boy's are getting right now, boys. That's how crazy your boy's are getting right now. So, Shelvin, here we go. A spinning desk. So, if I start right in the corner. And how many of these can I get? So, actually, if I kind of um, low-key come to this section. So, there we go. Spacing it all out. And to there. So you don't perfectly get all of them because that's not how it works. But look at how glorious this looks. So if I bring this up by another set of three and then do another set of three. Hot. Damn. Cut the police and the fireman. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. So many automobiles right now. So what I'll do next then is we'll then go across to this point. And go up by two just there. So they're nicely spaced out as well. Can I not squeeze one here? Um, can I not? What's going on here, boys? So it goes in that direction. One just there. Bam. And I'll be all in. Yes. Glorious. Lots of automobiles. We kind of delete this one right now for the spacing walking through. So it becomes like a walking aisle. Um, it, it, the pattern's all over the place, isn't it? Let me kind of redo these patterns right now. I am now realizing how ridiculous this pattern is. So if I do that, that goes like that. If I go here, we get that in. If I go here, we get that in. So the pattern stays perfectly centralized. There we go. There we go. There we go. Perfect, guys. Perfect. The world's biggest dealership. So... Now what we need to do is have a down a bunch of, um, let me find it, customer support, no service, no, what is it, amenities, no infrastructure, it's these isn't it, I need to now get down the one with chairs in um, for our financial advisors, so we're going to place down right now a ton of financial advisors, hire a bunch of them because these are the ones that give the credit to the customer to be able to buy an automobile. That is what we've got to do, boys. That's what we've got to do. Now, we also need to make sure that we've got plenty of shelving in here because lots of shelving is going to mean that we can store as much stock as we can because a vehicle in this game actually takes up a lot of space in our inventory. So we need to make sure that we have got plenty of room to get rocking and rolling. Look at this. Look at this right now, yeah, boy. It has got so many desks in. Gonna have so the more we have, the better. The more we low key have, the better. If I get this all in, boys. I ain't messing about right now. I ain't messing about, boys. I'm throwing it all in. I'm maximizing. He maximizing, boys. That's gonna be a lot of employees. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be so many employees right now. 
So many. Now, they do need to use a cashier to buy the goods because they put the, the key for the car in the cashier. That's how they buy it. So we are going to use self-checkouts. Now, we'll do one, two, three, four. Should be enough. I don't see us kind of selling that many, if that makes sense. Now, infrastructure, this storage rack. We are going to do a load of these right now. So if I bring this all the way across to here. There we go. That will give us plenty of storage. In return, I'm going to drop down now a big row of walls. We will delete this row section there and place down now some huge huge warehouse doors double doors for our workers to go in and grab the stock now that would mean stuck in the shelves let me get out of here for a second inventory i can store up to fifty-seven thousand's worth of inventory when a vehicle is 1500 in inventory size so I can store 10 will be 15,000, 20 will be 30, 30 will be 45. So almost 60,000, that's it's a lot of cars. It's a lot of cars, but we need more. We do need so many more right now. So what will be also kind of handy to get done is if I switched up, let's say we do it over here, this little area for us to have a delivery truck available to drop the goods off. So back into build then, if I got the unloading dock right now, here. Now if I just put it there, it should work, right? It should work. So if I go to workers and I get a delivery driver, hire one, assign truck, go for the big Tesla Semi. They then should be able to park up here and drop off some goods. Because we're going to need it. Because of how big the vehicle storage is right now. It's huge. Absolutely huge, boy. And the last thing we'll do right now then is get a normal desk. And I'll put this normal desk kind of... Can I just squeeze it in anywhere? Do you know what? I'll, do? I'll delete this one. I'll delete you. In favour for a normal desk. Where I can get a manager who can do the ordering for us. Like order a car every so often. So, with that said, we now need to hire workers, guys. We've got to hire workers for this ridiculous thing we're about to do. So, restockers, I'm going to hire a few of these right now. So many restockers. Now, I'm not going to buy the vehicles and, like, you know where you can kind of do the quick buy instant delivery? I'm not going to do that. Get a manager. Now, we're going to need to hire so many financial reps. Because these guys give us the ability to loan out money to customers. So the more we have, the more customers have the ability to go speak to one. The higher the chances we have then of selling a vehicle. Now, I don't know if there's a limit to how many you can actually buy. I don't think there is. But as long as I have got enough then we should always kind of low-key be making money. Unless we start losing money, then we just low-key panic. Right, get these all in. Apparently, a lot of them can't walk to their desks. Are they crazy right now? Are they low-key crazy? Right, you can't walk over here? What do you mean? So what that means then is I'm going to have to slightly move some stuff, aren't I? I mean, some of the desks they can walk to. But not all of them that they can. So if I move this down by one. If I move this down by one. Apparently now it's they can get to it. Don't quite get it, mate. Okay. Again, some are still broken. But that would kind of mean that some of the customers can't get there. Wouldn't it? Yeah. If they can't walk there, does that mean the customers can't walk to check out the vehicles? Probably. Probably right now. Right, so I'm kind of I'm kind of slightly stacking them at a sink. And then whatever can't be fit in. Story, 
then we'll fix it. So I think... You know, I'm sitting down right now. I ain't buying a car. I ain't buying a car from this dealership. I think we could be okay. But I think there's still plenty of room to hire more financial reps, right? So I'll hire... Keep hiring a few right now. Now, they do cost me 40 per minute. But as long as we can keep consistently selling vehicles, then we should have a ton of cash coming in to pay for all of these employees. All right, there we go. Okay, so not all of them can get to their desks still. So we just got to fix the certain ones. Again, I've never done something like this, so we don't fully know what's possible. Really, do we? We don't fully know what's possible. But again, we can kind of see who can get to where. They can walk through to there. If I push this one back, for example... They should be able to walk around to get into that. Everything should be doable. Okay. So I can still hire a few more. There's still room to hire some more, but we'll go from here. Now, we'll quickly build the big sign. The big wooden sign. Not the big wooden sign. The uh, We'll go for this one. To get customers coming into the store. Or should we get for the big roof one? I mean, can I go up a floor? There we go. Mr. Senex store right now. The vehicle dealership. This is where it all goes down. The big sign to get the most amount of customers coming in at once. So we now just have to make sure that in terms of stocking the shelves, we're putting vehicles on this. So we kind of have to then throw vehicles down on this right now. So vehicles. So we have to go through each one of what we want to do. So economy cars. Can we zoom in a bit? There we go. Economy cars. The pickups we'll do here. So it's kind of like we've categorized each one. The kind of estate-ish cars, the large cars, best way to put it. And then we've got the big SUVs. And say SUVs, what I mean is a minibus. So that's all in. We've already got two to sell, so we must have them already stored in inventory. So my inventory space, good, 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 good. Sweet, mate. So, store inventory. If I go down to here, so we're making we're making 2,000 a pop on each one, but if we can keep selling, that would be pretty good to go. How do I get my manager right now to keep ordering? I have a manager, right? Did I hire a manager? Workers. Yeah, I've got a manager. Auto restock, instant delivery, off. So, is he ordering for me? I believe he's ordering for me. You don't have to kind of set to it as long as you kind of do what you've got to do. Then it's all okay. I just need to make sure that we are 100% doing the restocking. Money's going down, so money is definitely being spent. So, yeah, he's spending more and more money. But I've got to wait for those deliveries. There we go. Delivery coming in. So you would assume now the delivery. Storage is definitely going to be got four in stock. So they will spend money pretty quick. We'll probably go really, really like close to bankruptcy pretty soon. But a car appearing. Good to see. Good to see. So is this where we now start letting customers back in? Should we open up the store? The store is open, fools! The store is open. Customers are now arriving. There we go. We've got a set of customers walking down right now. We've got the big boy sign on the scene. More customers coming in. Even more customers. Man, oh man, has your boy built his big, beautiful dealership right now. Guys, so many customers. So much foolishness right now. So much money to low-key be made. It's glorious. I am hyped right now. So that car over there keeps disappearing. It's like the Batmobile. It's invisible. So the great thing is we're going to have so many people right now go sit at the financial advisor's desk. Which is exactly what we needed to do. Oh my goodness me. It's just got a little foggy all of a sudden. It's so misty. Uh, which they'll be checked for credit. And eventually we will... Eventually we'll start selling. Eventually we will start selling. But they've all got to be checked to make sure that they can afford to buy a vehicle. Now... Um, you're approved. Oh, that dude approved someone straight away. 
Yes, boys! Are you approving? Somebody else over here had a conversation. I can't quite see it. It's getting really dark right now. But um, anybody else approved? I'm going to stand here and wait for people to check out car keys for the fingers. Oh, my goodness me. Oh, yeah, he... I think... No, no, he just spent money. That's the dude right there who's spending money. He said yay. So I assume that he's approved as well. Um, this person over here, let me check your credit. Will he approve him? I can't give you a loan. This dude, I can't give you a loan. He's like, ah. So, um, guys, go crazy. Buy some vehicles. Make me that sweet right, cash. I realize why stuff keeps disappearing. Because apparently there is a max render distance. So if I pull it up to in infinity right now. Um, it now shows you the amount of vehicles we've got in our dealership right now. Which is quite a lot. I knew I was selling vehicles. And I knew I was making some decent money. But the problem is, every time you make, you know, 13000 every time you got 13000 in the bank, my manager will buy a new vehicle to restock on the shelf. So, you won't make any money for a long, long time until, you know, you tell your managers to stop ordering <laughs> so that we can start selling and making a profit. But holy moly right now, this is crazy. We've got so many vehicles on show right now. Making some beautiful pennies. Um, and... It's just a case of waiting for more people to keep buying and buying and buying right now. So this dude has just spent 15,000. Baboon, boys. Appreciate it. We'll see you soon. Uh, just bought a nice little vehicle. This person's buying a vehicle right now. Another 15,000 big ones just made. Let's go. Uh, this dude's about to spend 15,000 big ones. I'm telling you, it's the way to go forward. It's the way to go forward. It is a very, very expensive setup that you've got to go through to get it all done. But once you do, 15,000 big ones, 15,000 big ones, 15,000 big ones, just like that. I mean, you only make two grand off the price of a vehicle. And it, it might not seem like a huge markup, but what other product do you make 2,000 off selling it? There isn't. There literally isn't right now. There is nothing else that you can legit get. But we keep trying to uh, give people loans. Some people can get them. Some people can't. But at the end of the day, your boy has a lot of vehicles. Now, we've got two currently in stock right now. So we're just waiting for our restockers to kind of get them on the shelves. That's what we're waiting for right now. Uh, the sun's come out too as well. So we get to see everything in all its freaking glory. Another one gets dropped on the shelf right now. Guys, this is ridiculous. The world's biggest dealership is going to make a fortune. So if you think about it, 1, 2, 3, you've got 5, 10, 15, 20. I've got the potential to have 40 vehicles on each side. It's 5, 10, 15, 20, yeah. 40 vehicles on both sides altogether. So if you times 40 by 15, that's like, you know, uh, we work this out. 400,000. See, I... Yo! If I sold 40 vehicles, I'd be getting 600,000 big ones. What? <laughs> what? That's crazy. And then if you think about it, you know, we get 2,000 profit times 40, which is 80 grand. 80 grand profit, man. It's like I said, it, it's a lot of money you got to invest to get that profit, but nothing makes two grand profit apart from vehicles. So we'll, we'll take that. We'll take that. We're doing an amazing job. We're selling lots of vehicles. And your boy, as soon as I stop my manager from reordering, your boy will become super rich. Another 15,000 big ones just being made. And on that note, we'll end it here. Dude's going crazy. He needs a desk right now. Dude, calm down. I'll see you all soon, guys. So, goodbye.